Hello and welcome to the final video of my MSI 2023 preview series where we cover Mad Lions, the first seed in the LEC. Yes, you heard that right. Um, despite all the people that didn't want Mad Lions to go, they are at MSI and don't worry, they will not have to get over the play-ins monster because they are already in the main event. Their coach is Mac. Mac is 26 and 28 as their head coach at international events. This includes Worlds 2020 and 2022, where the play-ins monster bit them in the ass. Worlds 2021, they would finish in quarterfinals. MSI 2021, they would drop out in semis. So that is the four, um, you know, international uh, runs for this team in the last few years. Excuse me. In top lane, we have Chasey. Chasey's the only player on this team without any international experience. He is the import on the team as well. Um, domestically, during playoffs, he put up a 4-6 KDA, 8 CS per minute, 57 KP. Um, these are pretty average, but in the latter stages of the playoffs, he really stepped it up in a big way. Um, even earlier today when I'm filming this, which is yesterday for you, um, he was very dominant in the finals, and even the day before, he looked very good. So, Chasey has, has turned it up as of late, and maybe that's a sign of good things to come for Mad at MSI. 427 gold per minute, 552 damage per minute. He is the secondary carry on this team. Seven solo kills in what would be 14 games, I think. No, eight, maybe 13 games. Um, 700 gold up. On average, at 15 minutes, 5 CS, 345 XP, so 700 gold diff is sizable. Um, if you knew your top laner was getting a 700 gold lead by themselves every game at 15 minutes, that's a good, 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 good sign. So, um, that was in a stutter. I wanted to emphasize good, good, really good, uh, good gap. So, uh, El Yoya in the jungle. Uh, personally, I think El Yoya is the best jungler in the LEC. Um, and then when it comes to Western junglers, it's he and Inspired that are the best. He is 22 and 22 internationally, um, a 2.64 KDA, 587 CS per minute, 70 KP. He is best as a carry oriented jungler, but can do it all. I think he's fantastic. Um, at international events, he steps up and he shows up and it is without a doubt that he is uh, world class. 348 gold per minute, 285 damage per minute, six solo kills. Um, he does not open up big gaps on average in terms of uh, pathing in the first 15 minutes, only up about 100 gold, 3 CS, 50 XP. So um, he's not losing out to the better junglers that you would say, but he's also not, you know, it all evens out to where he's just kind of in the middle there. Um like uh, Mac, except he was not here for Worlds 2020. Uh, so, Worlds 2021 out in quarters, 2022 out in play ins, MSI 2021 out in semifinals. Um, domestically, he had a 5 5 KDA, 5 9 CS per minute, 71.2 KP, I thought, in their two series, um, specifically against Vitality and G2. El Yoya was definitely. Um, a big reason why they won. I thought he did fantastic. I thought he did very well in the group stage as well. Um, 362 gold per minute, 279 damage per minute, one solo kill. Um, against the LEC, on average, was up 400 gold, down a couple farm and 100 XP. So the top side of the rift had 1,100 gold on average at 15 minutes by themselves throughout the playoffs. Mid lane, we have Niski. Niski has been uh, definitely outmatched in international play in his career, struggling to say the least. Um, I maybe not world class in that way. Uh, Nine and fifteen in his career, one six six KDA, just under eight CS per minute, sixty seven seven KP. Um, definitely does not dominate his lane against international opponents. If anything, he's on the um, you know, losing side of that. 389 gold per minute, 516 damage per minute, seven solo kills. So really just, he does find damage and you'll even see this when we get into his playoff stats. Um, but in terms of getting fed, he gives his gold elsewhere or he doesn't get it at all. Um, you know, however you want to look at it. 
on average down about 20 gold for CS 117 XP. So at 15 minutes, he's not getting gapped. But by the end of the game, there is a gold difference between the mid laners to say the least. Um, excuse me. Worlds 2019 and 2021, he was out in group stage. And then last year with Mad Lions, he was out in play-ins. Domestically, these numbers are not great either. A 3.8 KDA, 7.9 CS per minute, 66.8 KP. Um, that's very bad. You need to be above 8. You need to be at an 8.5 eight or above domestically to be, you know, going to an international event and being able to compete with the Korean uh, mid laners and even the, the Chinese in terms of Yagao and Knight. So this is not going to cut it. 394 gold per minute, 504 damage per minute, 4 solo kills. On average, up 50 gold, down to CS, 165 XP. He can facilitate all he wants on Gragas, but um, he's going to end up in a big hole. And we talked about this with Tin Owns and others. Uh, if you do not make something happen and instead just end up in a hole, your team's probably going to lose. Uh, 80 carry is Karzi. He is 20 and 22 internationally. A 2.37 KDA, 8.55 CS per minute, 65.3 KP. He did have quite a few Senna games in their one run. Maybe it was Worlds 2020, I don't recall. Um, that affect these numbers. 419 gold per minute, 531 damage per minute, 7 solo kills. At 15 minutes, he's not um, behind, actually slightly ahead. Uh, 100 gold, 1 CS, and 32 XP, so... Uh, keeps up with his matchups, which I think is important throughout the laning phase. Um, in the mid to late game, he does not find as much gold, though those Senna games affecting him, as well as just in general, maybe not farming that great internationally. Um, Worlds 2020, he was out in play-ins. Uh, 2021, he was out in quarters. MSI 2021, out in semis. Um, as far as domestic numbers, these are fine. A 3.9 KDA, 9.6 CS per minute, 61.7 KP. So not overly involved. Three out of every five kills. So you would like the farm to be higher, but it's okay. 465 gold per minute, 679 damage per minute. He is the damage dealer, and that is reflected in his gold share. One solo kill. On average, domestically, he was down 300 gold, 2 CS, and uh, XP is pretty much even. So... Um, slightly behind, but I mean, it's not that big of a difference. 300 gold on average. In the support role, we have Hillisong. Hillisong is the most experienced player on the team. One of the more older players in LOL Esports at all. He's 33 and 34 in his career. He dies a shit ton internationally. A 1.19 KDA. Um, 67.4 KP, so not as involved in kills. 276 vision score per minute, 1.38 wards placed per minute, clears about one, uh, two wards every five minutes, and then uh, has one vision ward every three minutes. That's kind of his deal. Vision is not where Hilly gets his advantages. It's making things happen. He's very coin flip. Um, he is the shy. Yeah, he's the shy of support in, in, in all actuality, um, just without the, the ability to win worlds on rookies back. So, um, that's kind of the deal there. In his career, um, Worlds 2018, he was runner-up. 19 and 20 out in quarters. 21 and 2022 20, out in group stage. So he's been to Worlds the last five years. Um, his only trip was to MSI in 2021 where he'd be out in semifinals. Um, in terms of playoff numbers, these are very puzzling. A 2.6 KDA and a 54% KP. Um... I don't believe there is a team that has a support with the lowest KP on the team at all in this tournament. I don't actually recall the last time I saw that. So for it to be 54 KP is pretty bad, pretty weird. Um, you know, some people are going to say, well, fights happen elsewhere. No, 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 no. It just doesn't make sense. 2.99 vision score per minute, 1.51 wards placed per minute, uh, clears about two wards every five minutes and uh, places two vision wards every five minutes. So his vision numbers are pretty similar to what they've been internationally the last five years. Um, he is a guy that's very creative. He's a facilitator through and through, and he's going to go for it 10 out of 10 times, whether it looks good or whether it looks bad. He does not care. He's going to go for it, and everybody knows it. 
so everybody has to respect it. Hilly is a menace in the support role. So, with this in mind, this team is automatically in the main event. So that means they're joining Cloud9, uh, JDG, T1, and Gen G. Um, luckily for them, they're guaranteed a spot up there because personally, when I look at uh, Niski and mid lane, I would be worried if I was against a GAM uh, where Levi is going to go camp mid lane or I would have been worried against even like a DFM. Aria probably could get the better of Niski, to be honest with you. Um, I got a... I, Maybe it was vice versa at Worlds, and I'm just no, because Ar Arya wasn't there. Yaharung was. I think that um that was that could be possible. Um, there's definitely a, a a glaring hole here in mid lane. So if anything, maybe you put your import on carries, and you do leave Niski on Gragas duty, Lissandra, um, you know. TF, we saw that, like stuff like that, like and say, hey man, you're just gonna create here. You are a glorified support, and put Alyoya on carries. That's probably their best bet. But this is the final video of the preview part of the MSI preview series. Um, the next few days, I will have other content up that will include the 13.7, 13.8 patch video. Um, if you missed my previous patch videos over each patch, you you you. Uh, can watch them on the channel and you'll know kind of what I'm about to do. Um, I'm also going to give you a video on each role, um, seeing how I view the roles ranked and then compare them stats wise and uh, champion pool wise. And then um, what's the other? Oh, well, prediction for MSI. That's going to come out the day before MSI. So all week people are going to ask, Who, what do you think about this? What do you think about the groups? What do you think about this? It's like, okay, well, it's coming out the day before. I'm not going to do it now. Um, but, uh, is there anything else I was going to do? I don't think so. So, um, if you like this video, like it, subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content, follow me on Twitter, join the discord, become a supporter and thank you for watching.